today on Karamo. Telling all of us, like, I love you, sis, and it was like, whoa, like. Sarome is convinced he's Shantae's 16th sibling. At the end of the day, you're just looking for connection. You're what? looking for love. And that he should have always been a part of her family. What happened? You tell me. No, you tell me. Today, he's about to meet his alleged father. You calling me dad? Hell, I couldn't even pronounce your first name. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. For the first time in person. You're my dad. You're not my kid. Oh. The DNA truth is about to be unlocked. Are you ready? I'm gonna be a 100, which I'm scared. Did Sarome lose 37 years with his father and his sister? My guest, Shantae, is no stranger to having a big family. She's got 15 other siblings. But when a 37-year-old man named Sarome came out of nowhere and started calling her sis, Shantae said something didn't feel right. And she is here to take care of family business and prove that Sarome is not part of hers. So everyone, please welcome Shantae to the show. How are you doing? I'm good, how nice are you? Nice to meet you, can I have a hug? Yes. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So your father has 16 other children. Yes. Tell me about that. He's always been around in our life and all of our lives pretty much. And we all, we're not like this, mm -hmm. but I, we do all know each other. We do talk to each other. Okay. Had you ever heard about Sarone before? I never heard about not Sarone once. before. Not once. Mm. Did you ask your father about Sarone? I did okay. ask Sar my father about Sarone. Mm -hmm. And it was just for my dad, it was just like an automatic no. Okay, he yeah. quickly said yeah. no. Yeah, it was like a no. Had he ever done that with you or any of your other siblings? No. no. So with all of your other siblings, it was like, this is my child. Yes. So how did you first find out that you may have another brother? Well, one of my sisters had made a Facebook group chat and she had tagged all my dad's kids that's on social media right now. And she had put us in there. She's like, um, we have a new sibling that reached out and it's a possibility he might be our brother. And so, you know, everybody's like, we were all excited at first, like, oh, wow, you know, it's another one of us. It might be another brother or sister or whatever. Mm -hmm. Everything was going good. You know, like I said, we were all asking each other's name. Everybody was being nice and happy. And one of me and my sister had messaged each other um, separately in our own little personal message. And she was like mentioning about the DNA mm -hmm. and, um, we had brought it to his attention in the group, and then that's when from there it like went up. So Rome was just coming like, he was just like very aggressive um, and being weird a little bit. What like, do you mean by aggressive and weird? Um, he was just like telling us how he loves us and mm. okay. um, how he knows we, his brothers and sisters, he knows my dad is his dad. And, and at this point when he's saying I love you, and making this declaration, had y'all met yet? No, we never met. You've never met him at I all? I've never met Sarome at all. Oh, wow. So you've never met him, but he was saying, I love you all, yep. I'm with and you Yeah, he was all. telling all of us, like, I love you, sis, I love you, bro, and it was like, whoa, like. Mm. So today would be your first time meeting him. Correct. Do you think that Sarome's expectations are a little bit too high? I do. Why? Um, just because he don't know us. Um, the fact that he's just coming off like that and he doesn't know us, I just feel like he was, it's too much. Mm -hmm. It's way too much. Yeah, well listen everyone, I feel like it's time to meet Sarome and this is your first time as well. Yes. So I feel like it's time for all of us to meet Sarome for the first time. So everyone, please welcome Sarome to the show. Hey Sarome, how are you doing man? Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, uh -huh. Was that weird for you right now? No. Okay. What are you thinking about? Man, I, I don't know. Yeah. Honestly, I'm a little lost right now, too. Mm. How long have you been searching for this, for your family? Well, for my, or for this family? Well, for my dad. It was only my dad at first. I didn't know about no other siblings. Yeah. So, all my life. All your life? No, all my life. Makes sense. Really. And how did you end up finding them? So, I did a... Uh, a DNA ancestry test at first, no hits. And then just one night I'm sitting on Ben Verified board, just, just searching, and uh, I paid a dollar for the little trial. I typed his name in. Same search I've done for 10 plus years. Some hit different this time. Mm. And when I seen that picture, I'm knowing. I'm already knowing. Yeah. Now my mom's telling me, that's your dad right there. 
So you knew his name your whole life from your mother? Now, see, there's a whole other part to this. So there was another guy that I thought was my dad at first. Uh -huh. Never had a relationship with him, though. His name was Mike, too. But on my birth certificate, which I've always had, Mike was on there. I'm not putting two and two together. I'm not really knowing what, you know what I'm saying, at the time and stuff. Then when I was about 15, my mom told me that this Mike isn't my dad. This other Mike is my dad, but she ain't helping me try to find him, no connections, no nothing. Got it. Got it. So, so that's how you went about the search? Yeah. Mm. Yes, sir. I want you to tell Shantae how you feel seeing her for the first time. I want you to tell her about what does it feel like being here with her? Well, it was, I don't, I don't know, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I was excited when I first got here, but I didn't know my love was weird. At the end of the day, you're just looking for connection. You're what? looking for love. So Rome says he should have been a part of this family. What happened? You tell me. No, you tell me. Today, he's about to meet his alleged father. You're my dad. You're not my kid. Whoa. For the first time in person. Your father has 16 other children. So how did you first find out that you may have another brother? Well, one of my sisters had made a group chat and he's like, um, we have a new sibling that reached out. So Rome was just being weird, telling us how he loves us and mm. how he knows we his brothers and sisters. He knows my dad is his dad. We never met. You've never met him at all? I've never met Sarome at all. Oh, wow. How long have you been searching for this, for your family? All my life. What does it feel like being here with her? I don't, I don't know, to be honest with you. I didn't know my love was weird. Mm. Do you want to explain to him why you thought his love was weird? No, I didn't say I thought your love was weird. I said I thought it was weird to, for you to don't know us or know me and just come out of nowhere and tell somebody that you love them. We didn't know, we don't know you like that. So, you know, that was just like the little weirdness for me um, to just hear you be like, I know you guys are my brother and sisters and I love you without knowing for sure. Different. It was and I get that, you know, I'm but different. I love it was just know. like with me it was like I don't really know you, you know, so There's a lot of us though, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah. I guess one more kid, you know what I'm saying? I'm not special, I'm not important. Mm. My dad knew about me though. I was supposed to be a Mike Jr. So for him to say that he didn't know about me or you know there was other things going on. My, another sister reached out to me and told me that she'd been waiting for for this moment for me to know oh, the really? him, so. Wow, okay. So one of the other siblings in the group chat said yep. they've been waiting for you. Have you met any of the other siblings? I haven't met anybody. Have they all been accepting to you? Of accepting of you? To an extent, yeah. Well, to be honest with you, I'm surprised that I'm sitting here with her. Yeah. Out of everybody, out of everybody out that group chat, this is the last person that I thought I'd be sitting here with. Mm. Why, like I'm the one that's. She did not like me. She don't like me. I ask her all the time, why don't you like me? Well, she... I don't know you to say me I don't like you. Me and her bump for real. I, I wouldn't say I don't like you, but I don't really know you to say that, so. She just wouldn't give me a chance, I felt. So y'all talked earlier about the siblings' reactions. Y'all still been talking about it. And we have some of the messages from that y'all had. So um, one of the things that we pulled out said, he loves us after less than a week. He's talking about throwing a ball with Pops. He looks like himself only. His dad definitely got some black in him, but he got none of our features. Already saying I love you, it's weird. And these are messages that the other siblings said as well? Yes. So this is everyone in this? Yeah. Did you know that the other ones had doubt like this? Not like this, no. Yeah. I'm actually sorry to read that to you. I gotta be honest with you, I'm really actually sorry to read that to you. And the reason I'm sorry to read that to you is because at the end of the day, you're just looking for connection. You're right. looking for love. And so, yeah. that's the only reason I'm saying I'm sorry that I read that. Um, I didn't know what those texts were because I apologize because that, that's, you know. Yeah, no, I, I Can I, I talk about those Yeah, texts? talk about um, it, tell me. A lot of them texts was like that too because how Sharon was coming off. He was getting into it with a couple of my brothers and sisters in the group. Like I said, he was coming off very strong. It was like just telling us like- Just um, give me a chance, that's all I was asking. Though. Yeah, I would have did anything for anyone. You wasn't people. giving us a chance to accept the fact that we might have a new brother or sister. You don't know I how that felt for- I put myself out there. I put yeah, myself out there. It was like there. you were more thinking about how you felt. I get that you're trying to find your dad. I wasn't forcing yeah. anything on anybody though. But I gotta be real, and this is no shade to your dad, but if he already got 16 kids, why are y'all kind of assuming that this couldn't be his? I mean, I understand, and, I, and I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but y'all with me, like, you got 16, 17 pop up, I'm gonna be like, okay. 
Yes. Like, yeah, this could be it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if, if now you had two kids, it'd be like, well, hold on. Right. There's a history here of, like, multiple children. Right. So why are y'all questioning it with that feeling? I mean, knowing that. Um, I would say they probably are feeling that way, but as far as me, I've always, and I told you this in the group, too. I don't know if you ever seen that message, but I always mentioned in the group, too, like, I have two younger brothers, too, um, that I felt like he kind of resembled. So I'm not, like, oh, just shutting it down completely. Got like, it. I know you're not my dad's child, okay. you know? I'm more open to it. Like, you know, I want to know first. I'm not going to be open to you. Um, you want the facts. Yeah, exactly. You want the facts. Exactly. Facts over feelings. R exactly. I understand. Have you ever spoken to your father or your potential father, Michael? I talked to him two times, I think, uh -huh. but they're yeah. very brief. Nothing. I reach out to him all the time, no connection. And what were your first conversations like? To be honest with you, kind of just stuck. I didn't even know what to say to him. We didn't really say too much. It was kind of a lot of silence and awkwardness. You know, it was over Facebook. I think I learned that he, he was into music, too. I'm into music. That's about the only connection that I really got from Did him. Did you feel any other connection with him? It's weird, because I, I don't know why I feel connected, but I feel connected. Yeah. Why I feel connected, I feel connected. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. All right, well, listen, everyone. It's time to meet the man Saron believed to be his father, and this is going to be the first time you all meet ever in person. All right, so everyone, please welcome Michael to the show. How you doing, sir? You. Nice to meet you. Pops, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good. So what was your reaction um, when Saron first reached out to you? I don't know. Um, my first reaction was, who was the mom? Because, I mean, 37 years, man, that was a long time. Mm -hmm. And um, back then, I had hair and Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So It's funny, when he walked out, your reaction was pretty excited, and you were pretty, like, mellow in your, your reaction. What was that reaction? Is it because you're still unsure? That's what's messed up. I mean, I... you calling me dad. Hell, I couldn't even pronounce your first name. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. I am 100% certain that Michael is Sarome's father. Sarome's mother says it's Michael. You're my dad. You're not my kid. Oh. And now, after 37 years, are you ready? I'm going to be 100, which I'm scared. Yeah. Sarome will finally learn the DNA outcome. My name is Byron Brown. I'm the anti-lawyer lawyer. It makes my blood boil when people like this threaten you, take your money. I fight for the little guy. He sent me a screenshot of my address that I sent him to receive the wigs and told me that he'll come to my house if I didn't leave him alone. I'm just so confused by this. I'll judge your situation and I'll tell you straight out if you've got a case. I never said the word sex or suggested anything having to do with sex. Again, the police aren't doing anything wrong. Byron, I don't like the law in this situation. So get ready to soak in 265 pounds of pure justice. That was the, the comment that got me fired. Know that you're the punk. May not be the answer you want. Don't do that. No, she can't. Don't do that. No, no, no. But it will be the judgment you need. Wait, do not tell me that he doesn't have a case. He doesn't have a case. Are you serious? Yeah, honestly. Because it's time to get judged by me, Big B. I thought it was weird to just come out of nowhere and tell somebody that you love them. We don't know you like that. My dad knew about me though. I was supposed to be a Mike Jr. Have you ever spoken to your father or your potential father, Michael? I talked to him two times, I don't know. And this is gonna be the first time you all meet. Pop, how you doing? Yeah. What was that reaction? You calling me dad. Hell, I couldn't even pronounce your first name. Oh. So you don't believe me, my dad? I really don't, man, because when your mom, I didn't even know your mom was pregnant. Do you remember his mother? Yeah. Okay, so you remember her? Yeah. Okay. I didn't well, even know she was pregnant. She had um, something happen. She left. And um, when she came back, she had had him. But she was telling me that, um, well, she, yeah, like you said, she was going to name you Michael Sarone, whatever. And um, 
my kid's mom at the time told her if she did, she was going to beat her ass. And um, she had got a hold to her before that. Mm. So, I mean, because your mom was the type of person that would call. I had kids already. And she would call my house and tell them, you know what I'm saying, my girl, that she was pregnant. And he's just Michael's kids and this and that. And they kept a lot of shit going on so, at my house. So let me, so, because I'm trying to keep track of this. So it sounded at first when you came out here, like you said, you didn't know her, you didn't remember her, it was 37 years ago, but now you're giving me details of your child's mother at the time got called. Oh, 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 she got called. She got called. Because you're saying, because it's now if, if, if you have a kid, if you have a child and this other woman's calling your child's mother and saying, look, I got another child here, threatening to say, don't name her Michael Jr., which now makes sense of where that came from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, you see the conflict in the story. Right, right. I can understand how you see it. Uh -huh. Okay, but, but it is like when, um, when, I was, when I was with her and what I said, what I meant was is that when he first came out, I didn't know who it was. Got it. Okay. I didn't know who they was even talking about until finally he told me his mom. Mm -hmm. Now I remember her and I remember the situation. So you remember having sex with his mother? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> you know, and the, reason I, the reason I asked that so yes. bluntly is because like we're, we're questioning the paternity here and if you remember having sex with the mother and then adding up with those other details, mm -hmm. there you could be a possibility. for two years though. You were with her for I was around your mom for two years. I'm not saying I know no, how that goes, but you were with her for two years. It's not about that. Yeah. I know how that goes. I got three baby mamas. I know I how that goes. I was around your yeah. mom for two years. I, but you were with her for two years, though. But you were with her for two years. Your mom was with me. No matter whether it's five other women on top of that. Well, I never even heard of your mom, to be honest. But, hey, I, but and I like pretty a, much know. Your baby sister, the, though. I'm not, I'm not baby, baby though. I'm not baby, baby. baby. Sister, I'm more towards the middle. Your baby sister. And you know. I never, I heard of but I'm all saying, my, sister, I heard though. of all my dad's baby mom. I know pretty much all their names. How did I you never meet, heard of your mom. How did you meet Sarome's mother? <laughs> um, I was with a friend. We was riding around. I had been drinking a little bit. And ran into him, to her and another friend. Now the plan was is that we was going to the motel or to the crib or whatever. And um, we was going to kick it. And then we supposed to switch partners. So, I mean, Hold up. well, I mean, I'm in my twenties, man, and I apologize, man, hey, but that's how the was. Pops, come on, we're not doing that. See, we're not gonna do that, pops. <laughs> I get it. I understand. I, I appreciate the comment. I, I understand. Young. I understand your discomfort because this is your mother. But I think also what you're trying to share with us is that you're trying to give context of that we were young and we were... It's cool, yeah, but we, we understand were, they yeah. were together for two years. There was multiple women. We ain't got to do all that, though. That's right. There's a yeah. lot of stuff that went down, you know what I'm saying? Like, she like basically what? ran. That she told you? Escaped, you know what I'm saying? Escaped. Basically. That's what your mom she told you? She escaped from what? And I ain't saying I know what's truth is true, but I know I know how things kind of go and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had multiple, come on, think about it and stuff. Yeah, I had she, multiple. She went on about her yeah. business, she moved on, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She thought she was protecting me and doing me a <laughs> favor by, you know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, hold up, bro. I mean, you know what I'm saying? She got you all confused. She got you all I really, confused. I really didn't choose a side up until today. You let me know what it is today. Okay, okay, I'll let you know. Before then, you couldn't nobody say nothing bad about my dad. I didn't care what you did. Mm -hmm. Not being there, being there, I didn't care. You're my dad, you feel well, me? Well, see, that really don't matter to me because I'm not your dad. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to hold back, man, and talk to you, try to, try to have some kind of empathy, man, but you're not my kid. If I had my phone, I could show messages where he was saying different things, though, so. Exactly, exactly, because I do have a heart. Uh, I just heard a ping, so let's see what that is. I am 100% certain that Michael is Sarone's father. I can't wait for the truth to finally come out. I am sick of this. It's time for Michael to step up and start treating Sarone like a son once and for all. The DNA truth is about to be unlocked. Are you ready? Did Sarome lose 37 years with his father and his sister? You are the father. Get off my stage.
Do you remember his mother? Yeah. Okay, I remember. so you remember her. So you remember having sex with his mother? Oh, yes. Okay. It sounded at first when you came out here like you said you didn't know her, you didn't remember her, it was 37 years ago, but now you're giving me details of your child's mother and father got called. I just heard a ping, so let's see what that is. I am 100% certain that Michael is Sarone's father. I can't wait for the truth to finally come out. There's no way. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Yeah. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. But I do not believe it. And I'm positive. I'm 100% it's not. Mm. All right, well, listen. We said it already. It's enough about feelings. It's about the facts. And we have the DNA outcome right here that has the truth in it. You know, we are all about unlocking the truth on this show. And in here is the DNA outcome that will tell you after 37 years if this man is your father or not. How do you feel about this moment? I'm gonna be well, honey, which I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared for you. Yeah. As I said earlier, I understand a lot of what you're doing and why you came on strong. And as she said, where you said, you know, like I'm built different. I get it. The DNA results come fast, but love comes slower. And you need to remember that. Right. It takes time to build the relationships, it takes time to have people to trust you. And so no matter what these results are, I need you to remember that it's gonna take time for people to show you that love. I know you want it. You've been craving it for 37 years. You've been craving the acceptance, the, the, someone to say, to know where you're from. I get it. Right. But it's gonna take some time, okay? But at least you can start with the facts. Are you ready? This is yours to open, not mine. It's been a long time, a long time coming. And uh, I just want to say, regardless, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I believe that, you know, you are my father. And if this test says that you are my father, I'm mad at you right now. But I, <laughs> but I love you, though. But I love you, though. Regardless. So, you know, I'm hoping that we just go forward from here. It's going to be disappointing. The DNA Truth is unlocked next. My name is Byron Brown. I'm the anti-lawyer lawyer. It makes my blood boil when people like this threaten you, take your money. I fight for the little guy. Sent me a screenshot of my address that I sent him to receive the wigs and told me that he'll come to my house if I didn't leave him alone. I'm just so confused by this. I'll judge your situation and I'll tell you straight out if you've got a case. I never said the word sex or suggested anything having to do with sex. Again, the police aren't doing anything wrong. Byron, I don't like the law in this situation. So get ready to soak in 265 pounds of pure justice. That was the, the comment that got me fired. Know that you're the punk. May not be the answer you want. Don't do that. No, she can't. Don't do that. No, no, no. But it will be the judgment you need. Wait, do not tell me that he doesn't have a case. He though. doesn't have a case. Are you serious? Yeah, honestly. Because it's time to get judged by me, Big B. Are you ready? This is yours to open, not mine. It's been a long time, a long time coming. It's gonna be disappointing. Yep. You are not the father. My cousin, I'm sorry, man. So we're done. What's wrong, man? Sarone. Sarone. Sarone, Sarone, Sarone. Come here. Don't Sarone. talk to me. Listen. Don't no, talk. No, no. No, I'm so sorry. Because listen. I beg listen, to listen. Know. I know. And I want, I, I, from the bottom of my heart, I wanted to go the other way. I feel so I bad. I'm wiping on the show, man, for real. Hey, take this off of me, for real. Take this. Yeah. Okay, let me help you with your mic. I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna help you out. I know you're in a moment right now. Why the f my mom do that to me? I begged her not to do this. I 
egg with the sauce. It's raw. I know, it's pain right now. Take me to my stuff, please. Can I talk to you? Sarah, so, I wish you the best, man. I'm sorry. I really do. I wish I'm you the best. I'm sorry. All time. No, I'm Can sorry, I talk man. to you? If you need any other help or guidance, all right. I'm gonna let you talk to Sarone. him. Sarone. 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 Hey, I just need to get on, please. Sarone, I'm so sorry. Um, your daughter called us and right. asked that we do this DNA test here. I had misgivings about doing it because yeah. I knew what the results was going to be. You knew the results. And um, he was, I mean, like I said, man, I, 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 can't, I, I didn't even know his name. And he's, Pops, I love you. Yeah. How am I supposed to react to that? Yeah. And y'all sitting up there talking about, you know what I'm saying, that I'm being mean. As no, I'm just being real. Yeah, you knew the story. I feel sorry for him because, as you know, as somebody who has multiple children, you've been there for your children. Your child, child's, your, your daughter said that you've been a great dad for all your other kids. Right. And it's and sad because he's just searching for that love. And yeah. he's searching for... Yeah, it for, really is. Yeah. His heart is broken. He, he moved too quickly with his love, yeah. and now it got shattered. And I think what happened is he was so waiting and so just hoping that you could be it, that he put his guard down in this moment. And it came back to bite him, unfortunately. And I'm sorry for that. I'm so sorry for him. I'm sorry for the things the other kids had to go through. I'm sorry for you as well. I'm sorry for his mother, but she has answers now. She got to make some answers. Do you believe that his mother knows who his father really is? She already knew. She already knew. Mm -hmm. Well, this is now something where he has to have a conversation with his mother. And um, if he ever needs our support again, we will be here for him. Right. Um, thank you for being here so much. And thank you, friends, for being with us. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more. Don't cry. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I feel for him too, but you didn't open this up. He did. It's right. still sad. I do. I feel so bad for him. Well, see, that's what I was saying. I didn't want this. I didn't want this. That's why I didn't go there for the DNA. Because I knew he was going to be tripping. I knew he was going to be upset. And he got every right to be. This woman lied to him, and she knows she was lying. Why? Why would you hurt your son? She gave birth to him. I don't know why she lied, but I just feel so bad for him. And I really didn't want it to go this way. And I feel real bad for him, too. But you can't talk something into existence. I'm really, really sorry. I mean, more than you understand. Seriously. I'm really sorry. Maybe it's for the best, though, because he ain't really, I mean. I'm not knocking, I'm never judging anybody. But yeah. That's not who I want my kids around there. Yeah. He tried to tell me I didn't want to hear it though. Know yeah. Saying? Yeah. He did tell me something that he said that he remembering that time that he believes that your mother does know. He, he, he didn't talk to him, man. He he don't him. Him. I, that's what she, she can never tell me another name again and I will ever believe her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just a wreck, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know. She didn't get I got my family at home, my kids, that's all I need. I know. The world, I don't need the world. I know. Get in my house, that's what I need. I get that, but I don't want you to be off from the world. Because you had a lot of love. And I know this is hard to hear right now. I'm just giving you the one piece of advice that I can I give really you. Appreciate it. Because you have so much love and light in you, man. Yeah. So much. And I'm sorry that this could be a catalyst that could break that, but I want you to try to be stronger than that break. And if you need any support, anything you need, I'm here for you. Seriously. I appreciate it. Yeah, sorry, man. Thank you. Yeah, good luck with everything, all right? It's one relationship on very thin ice. Are you still talking to the guy from the barbershop? For what reason no, are no, you no, still lying to me? And one phone is about to be unlocked. Karamo, tell me what's happening. Unlock that phone. Unlock okay. that phone. You are the phone. Get off my stage. My guest, Janae, decided to do her own at-home investigation on her girlfriend, Mykia's phone, and discovered she was cheating with a guy from the local barbershop. Then she uncovered some sneaky links that should have ended the relationship. And now, she wants us to unlock her phone. Everyone, please welcome Janae to the show. Hey. How are you doing? How are you? Can I have a hug? Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice Let's to meet you also. Thank you. So, Janae, You've been watching my show. Yes, I have. And what did you find? 
Well, I just found out that, um, you know, on your Unlock the Phone episode, I seen what you were doing and how you were uncovering some things for people. I, however, I did uncover some stuff on my own. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to see what you can get for me. So. Okay, then. So you already confirmed your suspicion that Mykia was cheating. So why stay? Because I genuinely love Mykia. Um, we've been together for too long just to, to let it go now, and I feel like it's something that we can work on. But if you're going to keep cheating, you got to go. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You got to go. So what were the demands that you put on Mykia after you found her cheating? Well, I basically told Mykia, I gave her an ultimatum and I let her know, like, um, if you're not going to stop cheating, then I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. um, the ultimatum that I gave her was to basically block this man. And if, if you keep continuing to do it, then I'm, I'm leaving. You're gone. I'm How long have you been together? That's right. Me and Mykia have been together for 11 years. 11 years. Do y'all have any kids together? I have a daughter, and um, we share her together, yes. Okay, so y'all have one child. She's raised my daughter with me. Okay, got it. Um, you're young. You, in, in, for y'all to be together 11 years, this is a large part of your youth. It is. That y'all been spending together. And that's most, that's partly the reason why I can't walk away. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all I know. My kid has cheated often before, and I forgave her plenty of times. Mm -hmm. So, um, in that point of time, in her phone, I just felt like her demeanor towards me started changing and she was acting different. And I didn't understand where it was coming from. And I know that previously before, when she would cheat on me or when she would be sneaking out, that's how she would be acting. So mm -hmm. I basically decided, okay, I'm gonna do some investigating on my own. I linked myself into her iPhone, find my iPhone. Um, and was basically was tracking where she was going. And then I also logged into her phone and found out that she was texting and talking to other people. Mm. One night we were supposed to be chilling and Netflix and chilling. And she was getting a whole bunch of dings through her phone. I'm like, this don't sound like a normal Facebook or, you know, just uh, emails being. So I'm like, who are you texting, my kid? Mm -hmm. She like, oh, this is just one of my clients. And I'm thinking, okay, it's late, and we having some, some us time right now. What's going on? So I decided, decided to take it upon myself while she's over there texting to log in and see exactly who she's texting, and she's texting Mr. Barbershop Man. Mm. So at this point in time, my heart is crushed. I'm broken. I'm sitting there, and I'm just laying there like, how could you? Like, really right up under my nose? Yeah. So I turns around, and I'm just like, I'm, I want to let it go for tonight. I didn't want to start an argument with her. The next morning I went to work, I could barely even focus because I'm so concentrated on, this girl's out here cheating on me. Yeah. As soon as I left the house, she called him. Because mm. you Not saw only your, that, when your phone's a link, you saw. Exactly. Not only did, did she call him, but she turned around and left right after I went to work. So Got she it. met up with him. Got it. The whole time lying to me about where she's at, whole time she's with him. Mm. I normally call her when I'm at work, I call. She answered, but the, the sound of her voice sound like, she was trying to sound sexy for somebody. Mm. You don't sound like that, my kid. You don't sound like that. Yeah. So I said, okay, what, what, what should I do? What should I do? Now I'm ready to leave work because I'm so frustrated and I'm so heartbroken. I call her and I ask her, where you at? I asked her again multiple times. She still kept lying to me. She finally made it home. I called her on FaceTime. She claimed that she wasn't with this person. She wasn't with that person. I said, you're lying to me. Mm -hmm. You're lying to me because I know. How do you know? I was at home this whole time. No, you wasn't. She didn't want to tell me, but I knew at this point in time, a week later, that's when I ended up confessing to her that I went through your phone. Mm -hmm. I went through your phone, and this is what I found. And don't sit here and lie to me, because I'm showing you right now. Mm -hmm. And I told her, at this point in time, I'm ready to leave. I know she didn't want me to leave, and I don't want to leave. But if that's what I got to do, I'm going to go. Got so um, from that point on, after me logging in and seeing that this specific number kept popping up, and she's texting and calling this person every time I'm not around, or even sometimes right up under my nose, that's when I took it upon myself to say, OK, Today is the day you're not going to be a dummy no more. Mm. Not today. And when you confront her, what did she say to you? She lied like she always do. So it's constant she, lies. She's a habitual liar. Mykia handed over her phone to our investigators. What you wanted to find out is three things. You want to know, is she still talking to the guy she hooked up with at the barbershop, correct? You also want to know if Mykia is meeting up with a guy from the barbershop. And you also want to know if she's talking to any sneaky links on social media through text. Well, Janae okay. says if today's results prove that Mykia is still cheating, the relationship, like she just said, is over. So everyone, please welcome Mykia to the show. Yeah. Bring that cheater out. How you doing? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you're hearing all these things. What are you feeling about that? Well, first of all. Are you still cheating? I am not. And every time I did cheat, 
we have talked about that and she claimed to have forgiven me. But besides that, if anybody is untrustworthy, it's you. She's lying, Karama. Because She's putting on a show. for what reason? You putting on for a show. For what reason? I, uh, you're putting on a show. For no, what no. reason? You're lying. you're lying. For what reason are you even searching my phone, searching my data, doing whatever you're doing to get the information that you're getting when you could have just asked? How did you feel about the fact that she linked your phones? I, I felt like my privacy was invaded. Mm -hmm. it, it's like, if you keep accusing me of doing something, even when I'm not doing it, then I mean, you, you accuse me, so I might as well just do what you said I did. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how I feel with it or whatever. But also, I feel like it's nothing wrong with being selfish sometimes. You, mm. you told my producer that you call yourself a self-proclaimed cheater. What do you mean by that? I think I might have said serial cheater. Serial cheater? Okay. Yeah. She's a liar, she's a cheater, and she's always been that. She says she, you've known that she's been a cheater, that you knew that. No. I mean, as I told you before, yes, she has cheated in the past before, but she got herself back together only to let me down the wrong path again. Mm. I just feel like at this point in time, I've been faithful to you, and I just want you to be faithful to me as I've been to you. And if you can't do that, then I'm gone. There's too many fish in the sea, and if you ain't pulling my way, somebody else will. Period. Yeah. Are you still talking to the guy from the barbershop? No, I'm not. Yes, okay. she is. Yes, she is. Why no, you I am not. Because after I gave her the ultimatum to stop talking to this man and block his number, she said she did, and I found her talking to him three months later. Oh. Is that true? Three no, months that later. is yes, not true. Three months First later. First of all, I didn't. I met that man at the barbershop. Yes, and we did exchange numbers, and we did. Can't even trust her to go get her hair we, cut. We did exchange numbers, and we did have a few little conversations. But when the conversation started getting weird, I started being like, "Nah, you know, this ain't really no, what I want." No. And not only that, not only that, I no. just like I, I said, I gave you eleven you, years of my life. There's no excuse for nothing that you have to say. It's, it's no excuses. That's it's true. It's no excuses. But we have talked about this, and my thing mm. is. Why do you claim to keep on? We already talked about all this stuff, so you claim to forgive me, but you keep bringing it up. So How therefore, there's no way that, that we can get past this because you How keep can I bringing it up. That keeps continuing what's happening happen? right now, Janae? What's happening right what's now? What's happening right now, Janae? Karamo, tell me what's happening. Unlock that phone. Unlock okay. that phone. Unlock the phone. One phone is about to be unlocked. So you still sitting up here lying to me? Girl, For what reason are you still lying, lying to me? Can this long-term relationship survive after the truth comes out? I love you and I want to be with you. My kid has cheated before. I linked myself into her phone was tracking where she was going, and then I also logged into her phone and found out that she was texting and talking to other people. Well, first of all, if anybody is untrustworthy, it's you. So you claim to forgive me, but you keep bringing it up because you How keep can I bringing it up. That keeps continuing what's happening happen? right now, Janae? What's happening right what's now? What's happening right now, Janae? Karamo, tell me what's happening. Unlock that phone. Unlock that phone. Before we unlock this phone, my Kia, is there anything that you want Janae to know? No. Okay. A liar like she always been. All right. Let's go. All right, so, Janae, you want to know, you want to find out if Mykia is still talking to the guy she hooked up with at the barbershop. Mykia, you denied that. My unlock the phone investigator searched Mykia's text to see if they are still talking, and she is telling the truth. She is not talking to the guy at the barbershop. How do you feel? I mean, I feel good because I know I haven't done anything, so mm -hmm. I don't have no reason to feel any type of way. I know that I've been faithful to her, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Janae, you want to find out if Mykia is meeting up with the guy from the barbershop. Mykia denied it. My Unlock the Phone investigator went through Mykia's GPS to see if they've ever been together. And she is telling the truth. I told you. I told you. The crazy part about it is. Why do I got to keep, why? You, it's you, something, yeah, it's, you it's something about it that here makes me feel like she's still lying. It's yeah. something about it that more. makes me feel like she's still okay. lying. We still got one more. Okay. Janae, you want to know if my Kia is talking to any sneaky links on social media or through text. My Unlock the Phone investigator went through my Kia's apps and found 
she is not telling the truth. We found two sneaky links that she was talking to. So, oh, no. so you still sitting up here lying to me? Girl, for what take reason a seat, are you take still a seat, lying take a seat, to me? Take a seat. For what reason no, no, are you no, still on. lying to me? And we got it. Don't, don't put your hands on her though. But oh my god. Yeah. So, well, listen, when you ask for sneaky links, we go off of what you're asking for. That means if there's any photos, any conversation that we're going to find. My investigator found something. So what do you have to say? The last time I did anything with anybody was the guy from the barbershop, mm -hmm. and we only met at the barbershop. Okay. But Remember, if you love me so much, for what reason was you, for what reason were you even talking to a Mr. Barbershop man, Mr. Sneaky Link? Or it it was that? really just a conversation at first, and then things just went sour. So if that's who you wanted to talk to, to why are you still here? Why were you here? I'm Jeanette, trying to figure that out. I love you, and I want to be with you. Jeanette, are you it. holding on to this relationship because of your daughter? A part of me is holding on to it because of that, but another part of me is because that's where my heart is at. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know how to walk away, and maybe I might need some help. But I really genuinely love my kid, and I want to spend the rest of my life with her, but I don't want to keep being hurt. My kid, do you I consider really talking cheating? Yeah. So you do consider do. talking cheating? Yeah. So if you're just talking to somebody, doesn't mean you slept with them, that you are acknowledging that would be cheating? That is definitely cheating still. Okay, great. So you got the answers you needed. So how are you feeling in this moment? I'm feeling like it's over. I'm done. Mm. I'm done. I, I keep, I gotta go. I'm done. Do you believe this is done? Um, Cause she, I don't. Cause I don't believe it's she, done. She been saying it for a while. And at the end of the day, if, if this is what it, uh, if this is what it comes to for us to break up, for her to know that I really, really want to be with her, regardless of whatever mistakes I make, then it's just gonna be what it is because what's my feelings her, is hurt just as well as her feelings is hurt. What's her emotional? Because I really want to be with her, and I do make mistakes, and I've been around serial cheaters my entire life, and this is how I am. So and even before I got in a relationship with her, she knew this. But this is not how you are. This is a choice of how you're pl trying yeah. to be. This is a choice. Do you really? want monogamy. I'm not sure. I, re I really don't know. I'm not sure. That's the most honest thing that I've heard you say right now. Y'all got the truth. Y'all got the information. And I actually honestly wish y'all the best of luck in truth and communication. You hear me? Thank you. Good luck to both of y'all. <laughs> Everyone at home, thank you for being with us. Make sure to come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all.